After more than two weeks held as hostages, these Nigerian school children are now free. They were brought to a local government building in the northwestern Kaduna state on Monday, the day after being rescued by the army in neighboring Zamfara. That was also just days before a deadline to pay a 1 billion naira or 690,000 US dollar ransom for their release. 137 hostages had been freed, a military spokesperson said on Sunday, 76 of them female and 61 male. The army also said one school staff member had died in captivity. School officials and residents had said 287 students were abducted by gunmen on March the 7th in the town of Kuriga. It was the first mass school abduction in Nigeria since 2021. On Sunday, Kaduna Governor Uba Sani put the number kidnapped at over 200. Given the discrepancy in numbers, it was not clear if any hostages remained captured. Some Kuriga elders said Sani had told them all hostages had been freed. Abductions at Nigerian schools were first carried out by jihadist group Boko Haram. However, they have since been adopted by criminal gangs without ideological affiliation, seeking ransoms. Information Minister Mohamed Idris told a press briefing in Abuja that no ransom was paid to secure the student's release. However, one security source, who asked not to be named, said he saw 14 black bags, which he assumed contained ransom money, being delivered to the Dansado enclave in Zamfara state. Today, to the glory of God, all the children abducted are here back safely. Because he was reported to have died while in activity. 